exploded all over the country. The police have been deployed and violence has started. Riots became so common due to IMF policies that there was actually a term for it, IMF riots. The IMF is all about continuing the debt Ponzi scheme. They were a threat to freedom, essentially, infringing on the sovereignty of, so of sovereign nations. These laws get drafted by, by a person that's living a very comfortable life in, I don't know, Geneva or Brussels. You have the World Bank that provides advice to certain people that they lend money to, then they require, give them requirements on how they can spend that money. And similarly for the IMF, you have um, the Bank of International Settlements, which on their own websites describe themselves as the, the bank for central banks. They're just proliferating and continuing the narrative that's actually hurting the system at large and hurting the people at the, at the bottom and in the middle. The IMF today exists to continue the neo-colonial relationship between the developed world towards the developing world. Lo mismo gringo, cuando yo estuve en el Tribunal Electoral, eh, en efectivo me dieron dinero para financiar actividades. It's the same thing, just a different story. It's the same thing, but a different resource. Ghana, Nigeria, Kenya, Egypt, South Africa, Zimbabwe, the Ivory Coast, Bolivia. En ningún momento, el Fondo Monetario Internacional y el Banco Mundial han tenido como objetivo hacer que los países subdesarrollados salieran del subdesarrollo. The computer can be used to set people free or it can be used to, to control them. Your time and energy should be protected by something as indestructible as hard as Bitcoin. Bitcoin is outside of that system. Bitcoin va a cambiar el mundo. Bitcoin empowers the people, it can empower the nation and lift them out of poverty and debt.